So we'll see uh, various satellites and sensors, remote sensing sensors. So major satellite systems which we are going to talk about is high uh, spatial resolution, uh, which which people know and they are available and their data are uh, widely used. So QuickBird, Iconos, OrbView, Spot5, uh, Pan or Spot5, and IRSP6, and medium spatial resolution, Landsat5. TM, Climatic Mapper, Land 7 ETM Plus, Aster, and Spock. And if we go down to uh, low resolution, we have MODIS, MVSAT, uh, GOES, AVHR, and HRR, and MSS. So, there are two types of sensors. One is your push through, that is a long track. If this is a track, this is a long track. And uh, there is the other one, which is this group. Uh, that this is across track, across track. So Spot and Iconos, they are push broom and Landsat is whisk broom. So push broom scanners generally have higher radiometric resolution because they have a longer dual time than across track like uh, you know Landsat one, which move literally across landscape as they move forward. So most of these satellites are sun synchronous. Uh, this is uh, an animation of that. The satellite passes over the same part of the earth at roughly the same local time each day. Means if you synchronize them with your sun, okay, so at particular time, then you can call them as sun synchronous. So its inclination is about eight degree of the polar orbit, like this. It is just not like uh, you know above polar. It is off polar, means 8 degree off polar. So the fact that the earth is not a perfect sphere makes the orbital plane rotate slowly around the earth. Right? And this would not happen if you if you take the orbit like this, just above or crossing the polar region. The slow motion of this orbital plane matches the latitudinal motion of the sun in the sky over the year, and it maintains similar sun angles along is ground trace for all orbits. As you can see in this figure, there are various like winter, spring, summer, autumn and uh, you can see that because of uh, the technology or the technique which has been adopted, you can evenly get the data of the complete globe. So that means that a given location always gets the same mean sunlight angle which provides consistent light. You know you have various weathers, so you have to uh, devise a technique. So this is what is all about that uh, provides a facility to have uh, consistent light because imagery is all about lighting. Landsat. Let us start with Landsat. This was first started by NASA in 1972, then later turned over to NOAA. Uh, since 1984, satellite operation and data handling are managed by EOSAT. And Landsat 7 launched in 1993. And developed scanline error in 2003. So only five is still working. Several sensor types are there in Landsat, multi uh, MSS or multi spectral sensor, Landsat 1 and Landsat 5 from 1 to 5, then thematic mapper from 4 uh, and 5, and then ETM plus that is enhanced thematic mapper uh, for Landsat 7. So these are the bands which are used. Only thermal IR has uh, 120 resolution. Others all uh, have 30 meter resolution. ATM plus there are eight bands. And these are the resolution. The pan chromatic is also there. ATM plus so you get a 15 meter resolution uh, image. Slightly different bands than thematic map mapper ATM plus. Uh, otherwise we are somewhat similar to the previous predecessor. This is pan chromatic. 15 meter. Landsat thematic applications, this is, there are wide varieties of uh, applications, right from blue to mid IR. Landsat, the, it has 16 day repeat cycle, orbit takes around 99 minutes, roughly uh, one and a half hours, and follow Earth rotation, so across the equator at the same time, that is around 10 am at equator, 183 degree, 183 degree swap, and 170. And the kilometer data frame. This is the size of imagery they provide. Landsat. This is the extensive archive distributed by a Eros data center. 
you can also find it at this link Landsat imagery now coming to spot spot is by is actually a French satellite and five satellites launched each has two high resolution visible HRV sensors constructed with multi-linear array detectors or push proof scanners that record multi spectral data along the wild swath thanks to this HRV. So the position of each HRV can be changed by ground control to observe a region of interest that is at an oblique angle to the satellite up to 27 degrees. So this angle is plus minus 27 degree and off either viewing allows uh, acquisition of stereoscopic imagery because you get the parallax so you can have a very good 3D DM from them and it has a shorter revisit interval of 1 to 3 days so any point on the 95% of the earth can be imaged any day by one of the satellite so these are two modes spot panchromatic and multispectral you can get a very good resolution uh, up till 2.5 panchromatic from spot 5 this is very good resolution as compared to uh, today also uh, we are talking in 2016 but still it's a, it is considered to be a good resolution also uh, various bands are there they also provide a very good re resolution only MIR has 20 meter so these are the variations these are the spectral bands spot 5 images 2.5 meter resolution now Iconos it was developed by space imaging and uh, this is also sun synchronous 10 30 AM at equator, highly maneuverable and can point at any new target and stabilizes itself in second. And the entire spacecraft move, not just the sensors, uh, allowing data collection at the angles of up to 45 degrees from the Nadir. And it employs a linear array scanner that is push broom. 11 by 11 kilometer data is there, 11 by 11 kilometer. See, this is so good, Burj Khalifa. Worldview 2, uh, we have a Worldview 3 also with 0.31 resolution now but because this was so famous and imagery is so uh, much utilized everywhere we need to talk about Worldview 2 so it is also by Digital Globe, very agile and have increased onboard storage uh, around 770 km above sunscreen synchronous orbit, short revisit time 8 spectral bands and it has a swath of 16.4 km uh, just increasing 11, 11 km provided by Iconos to 16.4 swath. World View 2 image, this, uh, we cannot expect more clearer images than this. This is panchromatic and uh, we have 0.5 meter resolution of World View 2. Radiometric resolution is also good, 8 bit. And this is the color film. This special resolution is 0.62 feet. CIR digital, if you uh, want to go to uh, the special resolution of 0.6, that is, you want some fuse product, this is also available. This is oblique imagery, oblique imagery, and you can very well find the height and width of, of an object from this satellite. Now Iconos 2, radiometric resolution 11 bit, uh, same as Iconos, uh, 13 by 13 kilometer of, uh, of uh, you know, product, pan is 1 meter and multispectral is 4 meter. So somewhat uh, similar to its predecessor, Iconos 1. This is a very good image, 1 meter panchromatic and multispectral image. Then QuickBird Quick 2, QuickBird 2 uh, as its predecessor but one uh, 0.61 uh, resolution it is giving and 2.4 to 2.88 you know good resolution for our multispectral work also 11 bit very good to 11 bit means uh, 2 to the power 11 uh, ranges you can have shades you can have and the scene size is also very good 32 km by 32 km quick but 2 you have panchromatic image and this is the 2.44 meter multispectral one view two, so view two, you have 11 bit and special resolution is 50 centimeter, 1.8 to 2.4. This is also very good. 16 by 16 kilometer as well. And this is 0.5 meter and 0.5 meter multispectral. Landsat seven, 
We have pan as 15 meter and the resolution of multispectral is ranging from 30, 60 up till 120 it goes. The radiometric uh, resolution is 8 bit and size is very good. See, 185 or 185. Let's set 7. This is a multispectral image. This is a, again a multispectral image of 30 meter resolution. Then you have Aster data also, which is available at uh, uh, the multispectral is available at 15 meter and 30 meter and 90 meter. The radiometric resolution is also quite good. And the size is also good 60 kilometer by 60 kilometer Aster. This is a uh, advanced space borne thermal em em emission, uh, you know, radiometer. Uh, reflection radiometer and this aster is on uh, Terra Terra satellite. This is a combined effort of uh, uh, America and Japan. So quite good images, 15 meter and 15 meter multispectral. So thank you.